Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. Today we're working on the 1998 Ford F-150. We're going to be changing the emergency brake cable in it. Um, if you like these videos, please feel free to like and subscribe below. Send me a, a message, uh, you know, leave me a comment. Um, you can also follow along on social media at ACH Automotive. Before we get started, now I've already spec'd out and ordered all of my cables for this truck. Um, however, there are different lengths in the emergency brake cable department that you can pick for this truck. Now it depends if you have a long bed, a short bed, a regular cab, an extra cab, an extended, a super, uh, super cab, I think is what Ford calls it, or crew cab. Um, this truck happens to be the 120 uh, inch wheelbase uh, model or platform. Um, and that's because it's a, it's a uh, six and a half foot bed with a regular cab. Uh, the way you find the uh, wheelbase length is you can probably either run the VIN number, um, but it's much easier just to take the uh, take a tape measure and basically go from the center of each wheel and see what it comes out with. This works much better if you have a helper. I don't have a helper right now, so we're gonna we're gonna estimate just so you can see because I've already done this. You know, in this case, we get roughly 120 inches. Under the truck here, we have. This is the front cable piece here. Hopefully, you can hopefully the camera picks up on that. Um, this is what the pliers that we bought are going to be used to unclip. And then you have your mechanism back here that connects the two, uh, the left and right uh, emergency brake cable. Um, actually, this one's probably this is one of the cables here, and then the other one is is tied into it as well. So we'll disassemble this guy first with our new pliers. The front cable uh, actually doesn't look that bad, so we may leave that. Um, and honestly, this the rest of the cables don't really look that bad either, but um, they're very, it's very stiff to push. Let's see how to use this guy here. That goes over the line like so. Unfortunately, this thing is on upside down. Might have to spray a little croil or something on it. It's in there pretty good. This truck's only got, I don't know, 56 or 59,000 miles on it, but it's a 98, so it's unfortunately the poor truck has done a lot of sitting. Another trick I've used. Um, if if you can't get this clamp off, which even with the pliers, I'm having a lot of trouble doing. Um, it's probably because it's so rusted on there. What I've done is stepped on the emergency brake and put tension on it so it's engaged. Then I'll take a pair of small vice grips and pinch, since we're getting rid of this cable anyway, and pinch it with the cables going to the back you know engaged and then I'll go release it and it'll let some tension off of of that connector there we go a little bit of slack on there not much but better than it was now we've got slack in both cables here let's see if we can get this out I've already spent probably half an hour trying to fuss with this linkage and I've verified all my cables are good. I'm going to make the executive decision to go ahead and cut this. Um, it sucks, but I'd rather keep the job moving and I'll worry about getting this out after um, I want to get all the lines replaced. Now we can work on taking this piece apart here. We'll have to push these tabs in. Pull this, this top cable out, and then this bottom cable will come out. The spring here just clips to the bracket, just like so. So we'll pull that out of the way right now. Get another pair of gloves, and we'll get some pliers to kind of get that put back together. Let's take some channel locks here. Push these push pins back into place so we can 
Slide it out of the way. There we go. That one, one more. There we go. All right, now that cable's out. This guy comes out like so, it just latches in there. It has little fingers on it. I don't know if the camera's picking up on that. Then we'll have to do the same thing with our gen locks here. See if I can do this, hold the camera and. Taking my clamp off of this guy here, the front cable. We're just going to wiggle it out of the bracket. Like so. There we go. Now that part's out. Oh, you can see that's full of corrosion and crap from years of what have you. Now, I didn't cut this side yet because I don't know what's involved in changing the front cable. And at least now this is on the ground. So if I had to put some heat to it or, you know, kind of work it back and forth, I, I can do so. So... Um, and save the front cable if need be. So now we've got the junctions all disconnected for the emergency brake cables. We've got to go pull a bracket for the, uh, sorry, right rear off and snake that through the back of the truck. Then we can jack up each wheel, take the wheel off, take the drum off, disconnect the emergency brake cable, reconnect the new one, fish the new ones through the truck, and get them connected to this central point. So we've got to disconnect the this line up here this is the this is the emergency brake cable here and there is a bracket up top here that we've got to disconnect to get this one off and there's another bracket over here that we've got to disconnect and then that cable should flop free other than getting into the uh, drum assembly guy up here is a size 13 Take our three-inch ratchet. The so bolt on the back side of this shock absorber is a 5 16 We'll see if we can get that loose while we're waiting for the coil to work in on the top bolt there. I'm hoping the bracket up here that I can't get the bolt out of. I think I might be able to pop the pop the cable out of it. I've got one side kind of loose. There we go. Okay. This is the piece I was fighting with under the truck. It's got a clip that it sits in and it was very rusted together because um, it's the original cable and the original bracket. So um, unfortunately they don't give you a new bracket. They do give you a new bracket for over here. Um, and this bracket is the one that sits on top of the rear axle and the bolt that holds it to the rear axle um, was not really playing nice and I didn't want to break it in the axle so I was able to actually pop this out. The next step is we have to take off each of the rear wheels, take the drum off and work on getting the emergency brake cable, the old one out and the new one inserted then we can put it all back together and reconnect it on the other side. Backhand side of this, there's a little eyelet or a rubber grommet that we've got to pull out. Maybe. There we go. Pull that out, put that to the side. In here, there is a, you got a feel for it. There's a, there's a wheel, and then there's a, a lock that or a latch that's supposed to, maybe this one doesn't have it, I don't remember. Yeah, this one doesn't have it. All right, that's locking it up. Okay, we got the brake drum off, and unfortunately, with this project, <laughs> um, the hardware kit, looks pretty pretty raunchy um, so I don't think I'd get those off and back on I don't know if the camera will pick up on that I don't have enough light over here because um, the truck's been sitting a while 
probably going to end up ordering um, a new uh, rear brake kit for this truck uh, just to give it fresh rear brakes. Uh, it was fun to get the drum off. Uh, it was actually it was kind of stuck to the hub here, so we shot some trial in it, and we put a little pressure against this back plate and tapped on it with the engineer's hammer, and it popped right off in my hand. Our rear brakes in for our 1998 Ford F-150 from Power Stop. Oh, that's already open. That's not good. These are it's a full kit for the rear brakes. Uh, part number KOE 15349DK comes with, or should come with, two drums, all the hardware we need, and a pair of shoes. So you can see hopefully you know, those boxes look a little damaged in there, so we'll get these pulled out and take a peek. There we go, we got our power stop drums, power stop pads and uh, or shoes and hardware kit. That's all our hardware right there that we need to put our rear brakes back together on our 98 F-150. Uh, let's see here, is he, no. Oh, here we go, here's some part numbers for you. So, eight, the drum is AD8538P. I'm gonna guess that the, yep, the other one is the same, should be the same. And just give some interchange part numbers. These are the, this is the hardware kit here. These guys are part number SH DK063. This looks like the adjuster kits, and those are, I'm going to say, AK062. There's two of those. And the shoes, the part number for the shoes is B723. After a little bit of delay, um, I decided to order new rear brakes for the truck while we had the. Uh, you know, while we're, we're going to have to take this all apart to get the emergency brake cable out anyway. Um, so we're back at, uh, you know, we're, we're back taking this apart. This is the driver's side. We're going to change the emergency brake cable today. Um, first thing I do on drum brakes, because I'm not quite as good as them as, quite as good at them as some people, um, is I'll take a lot of pictures of how it's put together so that I have something to look at, um, you know, when I go to put it back together. One thing when you're in here, what you want to do is look at your wheel cylinders and you just pull the boot back a little bit and see if they're leaking. This one doesn't look to be too bad but I have new ones so we'll see how far we get. I may end up putting those in as well. Uh, the brake job itself might be a separate, it's probably going to be a separate video. I think we're just going to focus on the emergency brake cable in this particular video. So We need to take this spring off here first. And to do that we're going to take this tool here and we're going to put it into like so. Pull out the hardware kit here. Not too rusty. to it, but we'll work on getting these guys out of the way here. Get your adjusting screw. There's one shoe off. We've almost got, we've almost got our shoe off here. You can see there's a, there's a little pin that uh, kind of crushes or uh, washer that kind of crushes around a pin. Now we've got our passenger side rear, or right rear, emergency brake cable disconnected. Um, there's a little tab here that's holding it in. We will push that in. These pins are kind of tricky just because of where they are. There we go. 
as our cable out. That spring, I don't know if I need to replace that or if it comes with it. All right. Here's our passenger side rear emergency brake cable. So we'll slide our cable through here. The backing plate. A little bit. There we go. Sometimes I find it helps. Uh, drum brakes are a little more difficult than just typical disc brakes. Uh, there's more parts to them. Um, so what I find helps sometimes is to take, first of all, take one side apart at a time. So at least you have something to look at um, should you get stuck. Take lots of pictures. Um, and then also I'll put it back together, not fully on the ground, but enough where the pieces go so I can figure out, okay, what's what. So um, what we need to do now is this is your, this is your adjuster. This is what adjusts the, uh, how much clearance there is between the shoes and the, uh, the drum. As my shoe falls down there. Um, let's put that so it doesn't get damaged. So we have brand new, brand new hardware kit for that as well. And we need to make sure the direction is correct um, so that you know the pads go in and out appropriately. Uh, so we'll put this guy in here and actually hold on. Basically, you'll so this will sit. Let's see. Where are we here? Where's my little fork? That'll sit in the truck on this side like so, and you have a little finger that'll basically sit and walk the, uh, the gear back and forth and lock it from, uh, this, is, this is the finger you have to press with a little screwdriver or push pin or something along those lines when you want to disengage the brake when you're going to service it like this. Never cease to put on the threads here. We've got our slide assembly here, which we'll need to get the old spring off of. There we go. That part went there. I pulled one side of this on while I work on getting the, um, the rest of the brakes assembled here. We're going to put one of these pins through the back side of the backing plate here. use one of these tools here to compress it. Now this pad or oh, the shoe is locked into place here. That's half your battle. Put this push bar in across there. Get this pin lined up here through the hole. So I'm gonna put the clip in the tool like this so that the so that's pointing out at the top spring uh, over the pin there we're gonna get the uh, emergency brake cable here hooked up here or the, the adjuster hooked up and then we'll do this spring that goes across to the top then we've got to work on getting the adjuster itself on on the bottom okay we finally got the shoes on, the new hardware kit on, the adjuster assembly is on and functional. We're gonna put a little bit of never sees around the hub here. We're gonna put the drum back on and put the tire back on and move over to the other side. Just like we do with the brake rotors, we're gonna do the same thing with the drum here. And that is I'm gonna shoot it with a little bit of brake clean, wipe it down, get any machining and shipping oils off of it before we put it on the truck. Perfect. Should be able to turn it a little bit. Yep. Now we've changed, we've changed the emergency brake cable on this side. We've changed all the uh, brake hardware and it's all fresh now. We're gonna move over to the other side. We'll take this bolt out here. Um, 
don't know what size it is. It is a 5 16 We will take our emergency brake cable over here, get the bracket up where it belongs, right there. Our 5 16 bolt. Then we can take the rest of this cable here and we're gonna throw it up and over the axle here like so. One little piece I did forget they give you in the hardware kit they give you a new rubber plug and that goes around the back here and that covers the adjustment hole. side emergency brake cable is out now I can clean that up and put the put the new one in again you may have to just do what we did on the other side and gently tap it in place coming through there we take our spring slide that through this L bracket here Okay, so I fought with this off camera a little bit. We got the two springs in place. They're a pain in the butt to get in place. We got the upper bar or push bar in place. Um, the uh, pins for the wheel cylinder are in place. We've got our cable for the automatic adjuster in place. We've got to now get the automatic adjuster set up. I finally got the bottom spring on. A lot of fighting off camera with it. Um, gonna get the linkage done for the self adjuster here spray down the drum a little bit wipe it down now we've got our drum back on you see it's got just enough play for the drum to wiggle back and forth you want to make sure your uh, your adjuster is all the way in because obviously you have new pads and a new drum uh, so it, there's no real reason for it to be out at all um, just gonna have enough slop in it so the drum can move back and forth freely which it does and there we go now we've done the rear shoes all the hardware assembly the emergency brake cables everything on the back of this truck brake wise um, with the exception of the uh, wheel cylinders, which I've replaced those before and they're not leaking, so I'm not replacing them again. I was going to, but uh, not, not gonna bother at this point. So now we've gotta get these cables back up into the bracket underneath here and start taking apart the uh, emergency brake assembly up front here and get that cable changed. All right, so we got the cable back in. In order to change this front cable here, we're going to have to get up underneath the kick panel here and uh, get to the front panel assembly. So pull this first trim piece off here. You can start it with uh, a trim stick and you might have to fuss with it a little bit to get it off. Now pull this gasket back just to here. And we should be able to work on popping this guy back here. It just slides back. Now we've exposed the parking brake, so emergency brake assembly. Tube out of the housing here, or out of the truck. We're gonna pull it up from the bottom here through this body plug. We'll have to put this plug back in place. End up pulling this whole assembly out. At least two 10 millimeter bolts. So we took the pedal assembly out of our 1998 Ford F 150. 
and what all data or the book doesn't show you in order to get the the cable out this piece is this piece that it's into is spring loaded here after significant fighting what i did so I've got a screwdriver going through the back side here. I've got it, hopefully the camera can see. I've got it, oh, and there goes the cable, it popped out. Um, it's latched in there. So now, now you can see, now you can see the cable will fit in there like that and loop around. So that's how, that's how you get this out. Supposedly you're supposed to be able to do this while this is in the truck. I have no idea how you would get this done in the truck unless you're a contortionist. Uh, it was so much easier to get this, pull this out. Matter of fact, you, would only, you wouldn't be able to get to this side of the assembly uh, while it was in the truck. You'd have to go through this side and I just couldn't make that work. So we're going to put the new K, install the new cable on this and we're gonna put it back in the truck. Take our new cable here. We'll feed it up through the bottom, like so. Push this up into the assembly like that. Now you can see the end piece is in, it's in the uh, bracket. We can now pull the other end of the cable here so it's nice and taut. There we go. See it's riding in the channel. And now we can pull our piece back there. Now this is ready, with the exception of this plastic cover here we've got to put back on. Feed our end cable here through the boot. sits here like this, sits on the uh, left hand, the shorter line, the bottom line here. And now we're going to work on connecting the last two pieces of this project here. Slide this cable through here like so. And I actually think there's supposed to be a clip on there, but I don't have it. And I don't think it came with one. Now this is the fun part. So this part is hard too. So I'm gonna just tap this in here. There we go. All right. What I did to get that seated was took a ratchet strap. I connected it to the left rear emergency brake. Well, this whole this whole tension assembly, uh, but it's really only pulling on the. Uh, the left rear, and I coupled it up here to the running board. I just put a little bit of pressure on it, pulled on it, and we tapped it and got it in place, and now the emergency brake cable has been changed. Now we can take our kick plant piece and our rocker cover, put that back together. Now we finally changed the emergency brake cable in this truck. This has probably been a, a two-day project. Yeah, solid day and a half anyway, uh, from start to finish. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's kind of probably been a lot by the time I edit it. Uh, it's going to be a little bit longer of a video than normal. Uh, there was a lot, a lot to this more than just changing the cables. Uh, we had to take the rear shoes off, the drums, uh, all the hardware. We ended up replacing those in this video. We had to take the uh, emergency brake assembly apart, uh, run all new cables, all new hardware, 
Um, what you also didn't see off camera was my uh, right rear wheel cylinder after I put it all back together decided it was going to leak um, and sprayed brake fluid everywhere. So uh, today has been one of those days or this, this project has been one of those projects where everything fights and sometimes that happens uh, on, on your project vehicles and sometimes you just got to walk away from them. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, uh, please like and subscribe below. Uh, you can follow me on social media. Those of you that do follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter uh, have seen some of the behind the scenes of this project.